<clears throat> no, we're excited to be here. It's been a long camp, so we're excited to get out there and uh, compete against somebody else. You know, uh, these these guys have hit the wall. They're tired of uh, you know hitting each other, and um, you know, so we're we're excited where we're at right now, and everybody's healthy and ready to get started. They're probably going to be pretty balanced. They're they're a pretty electric receiver group. You know, their running back is really good. I think their quarterback throws a great ball. I mean, they, all eleven starters are back offensively, right? So uh, they they got a high high powered offense. They scored a lot of points last year in every game and. Uh, I think they're coached well. So they got a really good offense, and it'll be a great challenge for our defense. But uh, I think we're, we're vastly approved, improved on both sides of the ball. So I'm excited about the challenge on week one. We knew we were missing a couple of recruiting classes coming in, right? Uh, we've addressed that, and that, that's why we went transfer heavy with this roster. And uh, the young guys that played last year, you know, they, they are now redshirt sophomores, or, or some of them redshirt freshmen still, and got a lot of game experience. But um, you know, I think the biggest thing is, you know, stay, stick to what you believe in. You know, don't don't try to do something that, uh, you know, that doesn't fit your, your scheme on either side. And I, I think our coaches have done a great job of going back and, you know, looking at ourselves. What can we do better? How can we adjust some things? How can we adjust some things for our personnel specifically? And, uh, you know, so I, I think on both sides of the ball that, you know, we're doing some good things right now based off of what we have on our roster. Yeah, it's nice to have a quarterback who's played a lot of football, you know. So, um, you know, being a, being a six-year senior, he's seen a lot and, uh, and, and kind of, um, you know, obviously had a great run last year and did some great things. And, uh, but he, he brings some confidence and some calmness, you know, to the offensive side there. And, um, you know, he, he's a competitor too, so he, he also has a lot of fire to him, which is was much, much needed for us at times. But, no, he's been um, – He's a guy that, you know, he can make every throw. He can extend plays with his legs, obviously. And, um, you know, I expect him to do some great things for us this season. Pretty good. You know, he's, he's football savvy. Again, being an older guy that's played a lot. And, you know, uh, the offense coordinator there at Montana, Brett Pease, kind of comes from the same background as me. You know, we, we both coached uh, under Hal Mummy and, and Leach and them. So, you know, they did some similar stuff, you know. So he was pretty familiar with a lot of our offense. It's been a big emphasis, been a big emphasis for us since the season was over. You know, uh, we got to stop the run. We know that, you know, and we understand we're going to be tested in that area, right? We got to we got to prove we can do that. But at the same time, you got to be sound. You you can't be all in and, and not pay attention to the back end either. I mean, they're they're your typical. Um, you know, they, they have a great running game, but they're going to be very explosive. They're going to take their shots downfield, and I think they've got some receivers that are very very talented. So, um, you know, we got to make sure that we are we are sound um, in, in our gap assignments, but yet on the back end, you know, be locked into our coverages and, and responsibilities there. We've all put in a lot of hard work, you know, this off season, and you know, staff, coaches, administrators, players, and you know, we need to go have some fun with this and, and play extremely hard. And they're a good football team, right? We know that they're they're ranked, in, I think, in two different polls, and um, they've got high expectations themselves too. But it's a new season. Uh, it's why you play the game right. And uh, I'm really excited to go over there, and we're up to the, up for the challenge. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, hey, it, it's great for us. It's great for the university. It's uh, we're going to be. I think I was told, y'all might know this answer, I think I was told we were actually the first college football game in the U.S. There's one being played before us in Ireland, is that right? I think somebody told me that. I've been in, keep in mind, I've been in a hole for three weeks just in camp, right? No news, no nothing. But, um, you know, so we're the first game of the season, which is very cool, right? And, um, you know, so we're, we're excited about it. We're excited about being on national television like that. And it gives our, our guys a great opportunity to go out there and, and prove, you know, all the work they put into this. Well, I'll tell you what, he, he's, a, he's a savvy player. Um, he sees the field really well. He's done a great job every time we give him some checks. You know, he's, he's done a great job uh, changing the play here and there or changing the protection. You can tell he, he's been coached well, and um, he's played a lot of football. He's pretty confident back there, you know. He's not, um, he's not rattled very easily. He's a competitor. He wants every play to be perfect, and that's a lot of fun to coach somebody like that. But – um, you know, I, I think that his, his, like I mentioned earlier, his calmness back there, um, his confidence back there is, is really, um, you know, giving, you know, guys on both sides of the ball a lot of encouragement. And, uh, and likewise with his staff, you know, he, he's a guy that's out there and, and talking to you, you know, like, like a young adult. Well, hey, coach, you know, I know we called this play here, but, you know, what, what if I adjusted this route and did this with it? That's a pretty good idea. Or, no, that's too much, Cliff. Let's back off that a little bit. You know, but he's he's having these educated conversations with me and Coach Noogie about certain plays, and just tells me right there he understands, um, you know, what we're trying to do, and 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 he's played a lot of football. You know, we we got to play ahead of the chains. You know, in this game in particular, a year ago we were behind the chains. There was a lot of third and longs, uh, whether it was from a penalty or a negative play on first or second down. 
Um, you know, we, we gave up six sacks last year, and that was for various reasons. That wasn't one position's issue at all. Um, and, and three of those were actually only quarterback, you know, from, you know, from a year ago. So, um, yeah, I would say production, staying ahead of the chains, eliminate the negative plays. And I think if you've got a smart quarterback back there that understands how you're trying to attack the opponent, then, you know, they can get you out of some bad play calls, you know. And um, I've always said this, you know, the, you know, some of the best quarterbacks that ever played this game, you know, the, the Tom Brady's, the Peyton Manning's, they understand what a defense is trying to do to them, and, and they adjust calls here and there, you know. So, actually, them two did a lot, right? But, um, you know, Cliff, Cliff brings a little bit of that element to us, you know, um, with his confidence of, of what he's doing. I'm confident in Cliff. I, I am. I mean, he is um, – he can make every throw, you know, and obviously he extends plays with his legs, but um, he understands the offense. And, um, you know, we're not going to ask him to do something that he's uncomfortable with um, as we, you know, get through this week. And if there's a couple of things on the game plan that he just doesn't like or he's not comfortable with or I think he's not fully understanding or, or, or executing at a high level, then we'll eliminate those plays from the game plan. But um, it, it, it is a, a completely different feeling in coming into the season with a guy that um, has played a lot of football, and, you know, he, he's the only guy on our roster right now that played this year. You know, I, th I think you pointed that out months ago, right? But um, he, he's played a lot of football, and he's had a lot of confidence from what he did a year ago, and that's been nice to have. Last but, again, we, we need to go out there and execute and understand this game is not going to be won on the first play, the second quarter, um, third quarter. You know, um, you know th this, this is going to be a great opponent we're going up against, and it's going to take four quarters to beat somebody like this. We got good depth. Um, we really do, and uh, right now everybody's healthy. That's a big plus. So, you know, they're they're still, um, you know, our 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 defense is got. They're they're able to put a lot of guys on the field, rotate them in and out, keep them fresher longer. Kind of same thing with the receiver room. You know, we're we're able to rotate those guys to one and twos almost every play need be. Running backs, you know, we don't do that with the offensive line, obviously. But, um, yeah, we, we've got depth, and that matters. You know, you, you try to stay the freshest, the longest, and the healthiest team usually is one of the last men standing. So uh, it's been a big plus this camp. And, uh, you know, this has been the longest camp any of us have ever been a part of. And so for us to get out of camp healthy, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I'm excited where we're at. I'm excited about the hard work we've all put into this. And, uh, you know, I'm not – I don't want the staff of this team to go out there with any kind of weight of, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Uh, I'm not going to allow that. You know, I want to go out there and have fun and uh, coach hard and do what we believe in. I want these guys to play that way too. I want them to play, you know, sound, uh, uh, but I want them to play freely and have fun playing this game and, and not not worry about that pressure. Um, everybody wants us to win, but you know what? Nobody wants to win worse than those young men doing that locker room that put all all this hard work in. So. Um, to answer your question, Jim, I mean, the season's very important to me. Um, but you know what? We're going to coach hard and do our job to our best ability, and, um, and we'll see you know, how the wins start stacking up. I love the chip on their shoulder. I want to keep it right there, and uh, I think the staff has that. And um, you know, like I said, the, the, these coaches, they, they've, they know what they're doing. They've done this before. They've been very successful. Um, we know where we're at. We know the expectations here, and um, we're excited to get out there and get to work. I do think we're too deep at every position. Um, you know, it, it's uh, we, we got a, a few new toys that uh, were either redshirted last year or were out the entire season due to injury. Um, and one of those young men's very, very explosive, so we're pretty excited to get to finally work with him. But um, I, I do trust that group. You know, they, they've had a, a really good camp, and uh, I, I think that uh, Cliff is is gelling very well with our wideouts. First part of camp was a little bit different. You know, you can tell they hadn't been on the same page or, or had, had been on the field with the coaches out there with them. But um, I, I think that, uh, you know, Curtis DeVille, Jesse Campbell, Jermichael Carter, I mean, th those guys have had a really good camp. They've made big plays for us. Um, you know, you know, a lot of those guys were backups last year as true freshmen, which, uh, you know, it's very hard to be a true freshman and play at this level. That's very difficult. But uh, I think they grew a lot from that. Um, I, I think I think J Mike's a war daddy, and um, you know he, he's got that tough nose, you know, grit to him. And then I think Curtis and Jesse are just extremely talented guys that can that can run. So um, obviously, you know, we'll, we'll, game reps are important, right? We'll, we'll see how um, you know how they get out there and perform. But I expect big things from those three receivers right there and Cliff in the passing game. I'm tired of seeing my defense like, from the offensive perspective, you know, so I am. I'm excited to see those guys get out there and perform. I mean, I tell you what, you know, uh, 
Micah Davey and, and Tristan Driggers can flat out fly, and they are ball hawks. So um, I'm tired of going against those two right there, you know. But um, I, I do think our defense prevents, our, uh, you know, has different, um, you know, problems that they're going to, you know, prevent you know, or, you know, give our opponents. You know, they're going to give our opponents some different, you know, issues because we're very, very athletic at the linebacker position. Uh, we're bigger up front, and we're pretty deep on the back end right now. So I'm excited to see them get out there and compete. And they know the challenge, too. They know that you know teams are going to line up and try to manhandle them and run the ball right down their throat just to see if they can stop it. And they've been working hard on that. You know, we're we're going to get out there and compete you know, really hard this upcoming Saturday, and then we're going to line up and do it again the next Saturday. Uh, and um, I, just, I just believe good things are going to happen. Um, the guys have worked really, really hard. I'm, I'm really proud of the staff, the roster.